Hey gamers, in this video we'll be going over how to make sure you have the proper permissions to move the documents folder for moving your Sims 4 data to another drive. Stay tuned. So in my last video, there was quite a few of you who mentioned not having the location tab on your documents folders properties. So I decided to create this little walkthrough to hopefully get you the right permissions. Stay tuned to the end for a little bonus tool for those of you who would like to up your skills game. To start, we're going to open the start menu. From here, we're going to type users. That's it. Click the add, edit, or remove other users settings app result that pops up. Click your info in the left hand pane. Underneath your full name and avatar photo, you'll see whether you're a standard or administrator user. If you're a standard user, continue watching through these steps to add yourself as an admin. To get your username, you'll want to open a command prompt and type who am I, all one word, and hit the enter key. The username is the part after the backslash, so don't worry about the entire computer name before this. Keep this username handy as you'll need it later. Next, you'll need to log out of your account and into another account that has admin permissions if you are a standard user. Once you're in an admin account, open the start menu and type MMC. Click the app that appears. In the app, go to file and then go to add slash remove snap in. Locate local users and groups and click the add right arrow button in the middle. Click finish in the wizard that comes up. Click OK to finish this setup. Now click the new local users and groups local applet you just created. There are two ways to make yourself an administrator here, and I'll show you both ways. Click the groups on the left hand side and then double click administrators in the right hand side. Click the add button underneath the members area. Remember that username I told you earlier to take down? Well, this is where you'll need it. Type that username here, hit the tab key and hit enter or click check names. If you see something like this where it automatically populates the username, then boom, you're in luck. Otherwise, you'll need to type the entire username you saw earlier, which is a total pain. Not gonna lie. Once you get this underscored username, click OK. Click OK at this window as well. Method 2 for how to add yourself is to click the Users folder here and double click your username. Go to the Member Of at the top and click the Add button. Here, type the word Administrators and hit the Tab, then Enter Keys, or click the Check Names button. Once the group name appears all underlined and everything, then you're done here. Close this console and don't save any of the changes. At this point, you should be able to see the location tab on your documents folder. Feel free to pause this video here to swap accounts and try to move the documents folder with my video here. Here's that bonus for all of you. Open up a browser and go to chat.openai.com chat. If you don't have an account, sign up with your Google account and walk through the setup process. In this example, I'm going to literally type my problem into this prompt and follow the instructions. Help, I need to move my documents folder, but I don't have the location tab. What can I do? This chatbot is going to go through a very long winded process, but don't worry. We'll be walking through this step by step here so you don't have to worry about that. Go to your documents folder and right click on it. Here, I just right clicked the file explorer and right clicked on my documents folder. Go to properties. Go to the security tab at the top. Click the advanced button. Next to the owner area, click the shield and change link. Use that username from earlier and type it here and of course click the check name button to make sure it underlines it and all that jazz. Check the replace owner on sub containers and objects checkbox. Click the OK button and watch the magic happen. Click OK if you see this little message. In the Documents Properties window from behind this, you'll want to select your name and click the Edit button. Click your username and select the Full Access checkbox below it to give you full access permissions. Click OK and watch the magic happen again. After the magic happened, click OK on all of the windows and check to see if you have the Location tab in your Documents File Properties now. If you don't, you'll have an excellent little tool at your disposal now to assist you with your specific case. Feel free to comment below if the chat gets too complicated. I love breaking things down for people and I absolutely do not mind creating a video to help with these things at all. I hope that this video helps you all out. I know that saving any space by moving anything Sims 4 related helps. 
Be sure to check out this video here to move your entire 16 gig plus game to another drive. Thanks for watching, until next time. Hey guys, check out this video that YouTube thinks is best for you, or check out my most recent video below it. Thanks for watching.